Good evening and welcome everyone. Bonsoir et bienvenue. On this important occasion, it is my honor, on behalf of Cathedral High School, to extend a heartfelt welcome to Bishop Douglas Crosby, Father Jerk Perkaki, esteemed guests, faculty members, family and friends, and most especially, the graduating class of 2020. My name is Daryl D'Souza, and it is my privilege to serve as the Master of Ceremony for tonight's commencement exercises. As we gather together this evening, it is important to acknowledge the lands on which we celebrate. We recognize and acknowledge that we are on the traditional territories of the Mississauga and Haudenosaunee nations, within the lands protected by the Dish With One Spoon Wampum Covenant. The graduates of 2020 have experienced a once-in-a-lifetime event that has changed the way we will celebrate their achievements over the past four years. Throughout this global pandemic, they persevered through the final months of their secondary education. They met the requirements to graduate. They accepted offers to university or college. They have moved on to the trades or have entered the workplace, and some have returned to cathedral. These graduates have endured. They have moved forward without the ceremony, dinner, or dance. Without the evening gowns and suits, without the corsages and boutonnieres, without the caps and gowns and diplomas in hand, without the glitter and glamour, they are a strong, tough bunch of young adults, these graduates of 2020. They had to sacrifice the stuff that graduations consist of, and yet they deserve so much more. They deserve the recognition, the feeling of pride and accomplishment. All eyes are focused on them because they are a very strong, smart cohort. Our graduating class of 2020 numbers over 200 young people that will be our doctors and nurses, engineers and technicians, laborers and volunteers, cooks and cleaners, artists and scientists, all leaders. They will fit into every niche available to them. We will need them all at their very best because they are our future. Now they deserve our attention, our praise and our applause. Join us as we celebrate the graduates of the class of 2020. On behalf of Mr. Mark Daly, our principal, I would like to extend a cordial welcome to all gathered here and online at home. We celebrate the accomplishments achieved by our graduates. We share in their joy. We acknowledge the rich heritage of our Catholic faith by which our young people have been nourished and we give thanks to our God. The opening prayer for tonight's celebration will be led by Ava Deneen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, for you begin all things and bring them to conclusion. As we mark our time as gales today, we offer our cathedral school prayer in thanksgiving and gratitude. Most merciful God, grant me, I beseech thee, ardently to desire, prudently to study, rightly to understand, and perfectly to fulfill, that which is pleasing to thee, to the praise and glory of thy holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Larissa Azopardi will celebrate God's word with a reading from Scripture. A reading from the book of Joshua. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea in the west shall be your territory. 
No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you may go. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Selected by his fellow graduates and speaking on their behalf, Joshua Bellavia will now deliver the valedictory address. I want to start by extending a huge welcome and thanks to Your Excellency Bishop Crosby, our Superintendent Mrs. Kovac, our Principal Mr. Daly, our Vice Principals, Cathedral staff, fellow graduates and their families. There is no greater honor to me than to be selected as the valedictorian for the Cathedral graduating class of 2020. CHS has served as a foundation for countless great memories and experiences both inside and outside the classroom. I'll keep the recounts brief, but I'm sure we remember the many feelings of triumph when we've won the basketball championships. Storm in the court as the buzzer went off and chanting CHS at all our opponents. We remember the stresses of formal, figuring out what to wear and where to sit, and then having the best time with our friends on the dance floor. We most definitely remember Nana and the joy he has brought and continues to bring to the school as he walks the halls with ripped pants for four consecutive years. And I'm sure we can remember how, by pure luck of class seating placement, we met someone who, who today we simply couldn't imagine life without, someone who became our best friend. Maybe what aspects you hold dearest of Cathedral are all of Mr. Juba's Times Are Tough kiddos, or the blue and white we flood the stands with at every homecoming game, or the fight over who gets the last chicken wing at Mr. Lepore's famous biology parties. All these aspects, whether they seem important or trivial, reveal Cathedral at its greatest. And yet, while I may hold the school dearly to my heart, I know there are fellow students who have had far from a great high school experience here and are far from happy with where they stand in life. Some, perhaps even most of you, feel like you are far from achieving your full potential in life and are held back by your environment. Now, I understand that everyone faces different hardships which restrict them, whether that be familial issues, financial burdens, racial injustices, or mental illnesses. But I'm here to lay the truth out bare. And the truth is that many of you, along with myself, are far from happy with your, our position in life because of fear, and more specifically, the fear of failure. How many of us have thought twice of trying out for a sports team, or joining a club, or simply saying hi to someone we see as we walk through the halls at school? Overthinking is the worst enemy of all of us, and has killed many more dreams than failure itself. It consumes us, keeps us static and frozen, afraid to jump at the opportunities placed before us. And if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that life is uncertain, and that the opportunities we have today could very well be gone tomorrow. I originally delivered this speech on March 12th. No more than a day later did we spend our last day at Cathedral together. When we first heard the news of an extra two weeks off school, we were all ecstatic, feeling the weight of school lifted off our shoulders. Yet quite quickly, a new sense of dread, disappointment, and insecurity burdened us. These past seven to eight months of the COVID-19 pandemic have been terrifying and filled with many uncertainties. Life shifted abruptly and we were all forced to make changes we didn't want to make. And while it's undeniable that we've all been impacted by this virus, we, didn't only, we weren't only impacted negatively necessarily. Many of us went through feelings of isolation from friends and feared for our loved ones at high risk of the virus, but we also reconnected with old hobbies and interests and took to learning new skills that before we can never conjure up the time or courage for. This pandemic has gone to show that through all of life's experiences, both the negative and positive, there are always opportunities born out of them. And it's this fear I've mentioned that has, kept, that has prevented us from seizing these chances and feeling as, as successful and as happy as we wish to be. 
growing up, I was absolutely terrified of taking risks and stepping out of my comfort zone. That ever persistent fear of making mistakes and being poor at something kept me from expressing my true self and progressing into someone I could be proud of. But last year, I took my biggest risk in running for student council president. And it was such a split second decision that I didn't have time to think of all the potential negative outcomes. Had I stopped to worry about the chance of me slipping up in my speech and being laughed at, or simply facing the rejection of hundreds of students in the pursuit of my goal, I most definitely would have dropped out of the running. Nevertheless, I was blessed to be successful in this endeavor, and as a result, my life changed completely. I overcame my fear of public speaking, I was given a platform to raise funding for our wonderful outreach program, and I met some people who to this day are still some of my best friends. I never felt more happy and fulfilled than I had this past school year, and I started to develop into someone I could be proud of, my own true self. And reflecting upon these topics of cathedral and this pandemic, and the change my life underwent when I began to step out of my comfort zone and take more risks, I've learned that life will only ever be as fulfilling and joyous as we make it out to be, and that true happiness can only be derived from one's own self. Cathedral isn't a great school because of the structure of its walls or of any other physical property. It's a great school because we collectively made it great, with the positive attitude and high spirits we filled these walls with. Now, earlier in the speech, I stated that there's no greater honor to me than to be selected as valedictorian. And that honor doesn't stem from a little award they give me with my name on it or the sash I'm wearing around my neck. That honor is in me being able to conquer my own inner demon of overthinking. Although I've made many mistakes in life and I've been rejected just as many times, I have finally broken through that ever so troublesome barrier in life that is fear and I'm able to stand before you, sharing with you this key lesson of life in hopes of changing your perspectives and serving as a light of inspiration. We all are capable of living life to its fullest potential and leaving a positive impact on this earth. Yet we must first overcome this fear of failing. When we fall, we must pick ourselves up for no one will do this for us we must continue to push through to where we want to be in life. Failure is simply a chance to learn a lesson and it's necessary to see any signs of success. We all must fail, fail, and fail again. So with us all breaking off onto our own new path this year in life, whether that be college or university or working full time, please remember this. No matter how extreme, how intimidating, or how burdening that path may seem, it all begins with a mere single step out of your comfort zone and in the right direction. Thank you all. We will now virtually present diplomas and special awards to recognize the outstanding scholastic and personal achievement of the members of the graduating class. The commentators are Dr. Mark Deneen, Mr. Dave McMillan, and Mrs. Claudia Defendionico. Lami Abdallah, Khalif Abu, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Caliphat Abu, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Christian Aguar, recipient of the Grade 12 Technological Studies Subject Award. Adriana Aguilar Hernandez, recipient of the Daryl Mailer Co-Instructional Award, awarded to the graduate who exemplifies the cathedral spirit by diligently contributing time and energy in organizing and assisting in co-instructional activities throughout the school year. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Landa Ahmed Sharif, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Ayat El Azawi. Ralph Alfonso. Ikram Ali Hassan, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Jezreel Alibio Abrogadi, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Tyler Allen, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Christopher Amorim, 
recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Julia Araujo, recipient of the Father Matthijs Memorial Award, donated by Len and Marguerite Verasso, and is awarded to the graduate who exhibits hard work and will be continuing in French leadership, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Maya Thuzar I. Larissa Azopardi, recipient of the Edmund and Nancy Giovanazzo Award and awarded to the graduate for academic achievement, contributing to the school and community and pursuing post-secondary education. Also, recipient of the Taylor Steele Incorporated Post-Secondary Bursary, donated by Michael Taylor. Recipient of the Grade 12 French Immersion Subject Award. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Also, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Binta Ba, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Kaylee Baldwin, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Francis Banguis, recipient of the Bartolini Berlin Gary Barafato Fortino LLP Award, awarded to the graduate who has shown proficiency in the grade 12 law class and has aspirations of becoming a lawyer. Recipient of the Catholic Student Award, donated by the Catholic Education Foundation of Ontario. Also, recipient of the Knights of Columbus Father Muscari Council 8380 Bursary, Awarded to the graduate who exhibits academic excellence in religious studies and reflects a Christian attitude throughout their years at Cathedral High School. Also recipient of the Pegasus School Images Award. Awarded to the graduating student who works diligently and puts forth effort with Cathedral Pride. Recipient of the Grade 12 Co-op Subject Award. Recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal recipient of the President's Council Bursary. Jezreel Barletta. Olivia Belisario. Joshua Bellavia, recipient of the Diocese of Hamilton Award, donated by His Excellency, the Most Reverend Douglas Crosby, OMI, and is awarded to the graduate who exhibits both academic excellence and school involvement. This award is the top award that a grade 12 student can achieve at Cathedral. Recipient of the Laura Miller Award, awarded to the graduate for excellence in the art of public speaking. Also recipient of the Taylor Steele Incorporated post-secondary bursary donated by Michael Taylor. Recipient of the grade 12 chemistry subject award. Recipient of the French immersion certificate. Mirabella Bellavia. Eliana Bennett, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Kenneth Benson. Benjay Aldrich Bernardo, recipient of the Ted Walsh Memorial Scholarship donated by his wife Marie in recognition of Ted Walsh, professional engineer and proud graduate of Cathedral Boys High School. The award acknowledges Mr. Walsh's commitment to excellence and success, as well as being a well-respected member of the business community. The recipient of this award will pursue post-secondary studies in the field of engineering. Also, recipient of the Pathways to Education post-secondary scholarship. Nicholas Betancourt, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Monica Batello, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Story Brazier. Jade Bridge Ward, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Edward Bui, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. 
recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Chloe Cabral. Sharid Casado Ureño. Claudia Camara, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Sarah Caruso, recipient of the John J. Morley Award, awarded to the graduate who demonstrates diligence and exemplary effort over the years of high school. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Melissa Carvalho, recipient of the Grade 12 Law Subject Award. Rashid Costello. Elijah Caesar Buckley. Kelly Chen, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Daniela Chukwu, recipient of the Taylor Steele Incorporated Post-Secondary Bursary, donated by Michael Taylor. Recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Also recipient of the McMaster University Entrance Scholarship. Camilla Siolik Solano, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Oriana Cirolo, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Baby Clay, recipient of the Domenico Darnuzzi Bursary, donated by his son, Peter Narduzzi, and awarded to the graduate who has persevered in his or her studies. Recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal, also recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Lashma Coriolant, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Alfredo Cortez Garcia, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Nathan Costa, recipient of the Jeff Walton Memorial Bursary, donated by family and friends of Jeff Walton and awarded to the graduate who personifies the tradition and character of Cathedral High School. Recipient of the Mackesy Smy Law Award, donated by the Mackesy Smy Law Firm and awarded to the graduate who demonstrates academic diligence in law. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Joshua Coward, recipient of the Daryl Mailer Co-Instructional Award, awarded to the graduate who exemplifies the cathedral spirit by diligently contributing time and energy to organizing and assisting in co-instructional activities throughout the school year. Recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Ethan Cool. Alexandra Delos Reyes, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Brandon Dempsey. Baron Diaz, recipient of the Bernice Redman Award, donated by two former graduates of CHS, Amini Abakar and Kitsia Kabamba, and awarded to the graduate who intends to pursue nursing in postgraduate studies. Recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Annika DeFrancesco. Recipient of the Cathedral School Council Award, donated by the School Council of Cathedral High School and awarded to the graduate who demonstrates Christian values, is committed to his or her studies, and has been involved in the community. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Also recipient of the Grade 12 History Subject Award. Ava Deneen. Recipient of the Alex A. McDonald Bursary, donated by the family of Alex A. McDonald, who was a former Cathedral Boys High School English teacher, and awarded to the graduate who demonstrates a proficiency in English literature. Recipient of the Francesca Brucaleri Contenzia Memorial Award, and is awarded to the graduating students for diligence and exemplary effort over the years in the area of mathematics. 
recipient of the J.G. Ponikvar Memorial Award, donated by his wife, Lirka Ponovar, and awarded to the graduate who has shown true Catholic values throughout their years at Cathedral. Recipient of the Knights of Columbus Father Mascari Council 8380 Bursary, awarded to the graduate who exhibits academic excellence in religious studies and reflects a Christian attitude throughout their years at Cathedral High School. Also recipient of the St. Albertus Magnus Science Award, donated in memory of Jim and Anna Lapore, and awarded to the graduate who has excelled in both the biological and physical sciences and who embodies the character and tradition of Cathedral High School. This award is named after St. Albertus Magnus, the patron saint of science. Recipient of the Grade 12 English Subject Award. Recipient of the Living the Spirit Award. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Bogdan Diska. Recipient of the Taylor Steele Incorporated Post-Secondary Bursary, donated by Michael Taylor. Recipient of the Grade 12 Computer Studies Subject Award. Recipient of the Arcelor Mattel DeFasco Scholarship. Dallas Doherty. Andrew Dominguez, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Aliyah Dormer. Angela Doucette. Christian Drezwicki, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Ni Duong, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Mohammed Alawad, recipient of the Goran Kissick Memorial Award, donated by Goran's parents and awarded to a graduate who exemplifies a love for cathedral. Recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Josue Erazo Rivas. Victor Esma. Shire Estabillo. Laura Filiu, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Jedediah Ferguson, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Lucas Ferreira, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Marissa Ferreira, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Olivia Fiorucci, recipient of the Brian Mascarin Class of 72 Memorial Award, donated by his wife Lucy and awarded to a graduating student who exhibits determination, persistence, and proficiency in his or her studies and has shown athletic dedication and ability throughout his or her high school years at Cathedral. Also, recipient of the John J. McPhee Memorial Award, awarded to the most sportsmanlike graduate at Cathedral High School. Also, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Allison Flanchua, recipient of the Victor G. Marasco Memorial Bursary, donated by Mr. L. Marasco in memory of his father and awarded to the graduating student who excels in mathematics and English and who is pursuing a post-secondary education. Also recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Margaret Flores, Mariama Folarin, recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Marilia Fonseca, recipient of the Dumfries Scholarship donated by Dumfries Mutual Insurance Company and awarded to the graduate who exemplifies a positive attitude and diligent in his or her studies. Recipient of the Grade 12 Biology Subject Award. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. 
recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Leah Frige Bedini, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Zakira Gibrin, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Renil Benzen Gomez. Brenda Gonzalez Cruz, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Cassidy Greenhall Leggett, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Bianca Grosu, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal, recipient of the Pathways to Education post-secondary scholarship. Joshua Guzman. Kwabena Guillama, recipient of the John and Carol Daly Memorial Bursary, donated by Jim and Margaret Daly. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Lori Haining. Natalyn Haji. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Sophia Halane. Sarah Hall. Recipient of the Charity of Hope Award, awarded to the graduates who provide service to children both in the school and community. Recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Recipient of the Jim Hansen Spirit of Community Award. Billy Hung, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Bishop Harris. Noah Hay. Kaylee Holland. Michaela Holland. Kennedy Hudson, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Tina Huin, Ethan Isaac, Hannah Ivins, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship, Matthew Jameson, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship, James Jameson Riley, Nada Jarud, Recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Naomi Johnson. Recipient of the Grade 12 Curry's Art Award. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Donat Kabaruka. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Kevin Kashala Kapyamba, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Emily Kalbach, recipient of the Grade 12 Physical Education Subject Award, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Salamawit Kefte, Hannah Kraft, Eamon Labania, Gabrielle Lambert, recipient of the School to Work Transition Award, awarded to the graduate who has shown exemplary achievement in the OYAP program and who is registered as an apprentice, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Davin Lee, recipient of the Anthony Gergenti Business Life Skills Scholarship, donated by family and friends awarded to the graduate who is pursuing business studies at university or college and has been involved in all aspects of school and community activities. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Delilah Lavac. Isabella Lidbetter. Recipient of the Grade 12 Arts Drama Subject Award. Recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. 
recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. William Todd Lim, recipient of the Father Kieran Kennedy Class of 44 Bursary, donated by Jim and Margaret Daly. Recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Roberto Linares Martinez, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Tyler Lopes. Brandon McInnes. Carter McLeod. Paige McPherson, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Ashley Mayo Marquez, Faith Mon Greenhall, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Alden Martinez Rodriguez, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Elizabeth Masaya, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Alfayo Matenga, Malcolm McLeod, PJ McMillan, recipient of the Linda Gatto Memorial Award awarded to the graduate who exemplifies the spirit of artistic expression and Christian values. Gloria Maya, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Leticia Mills, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Tanisha Mills, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Marvet Mohammed, recipient of the Alberto and Lucia DeSantis Memorial Bursary, donated by Frank DeSantis, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Rashan Mohammed, recipient of the Mary Williamson Memorial Bursary, donated by Jim and Margaret Daly, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Ismehan Moniajama. Recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Tarisha Montague. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Nicholas Montgomery. Recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Douglas Moskaluk. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Alexandra Mushi, recipient of the Grade 12 Arts Music Subject Award. Danait Mulugeta Heish, recipient of the Caribbean Popery Association Award, donated by the Caribbean Popery Association and awarded to the graduate who exhibits academic achievement and school and community involvement. Recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Bitisho Muma. Recipient of the Josefina Karamianpur Memorial Bursary, awarded to the graduate student who is making a difference in their local or global community through volunteer activities and or social justice projects. A student who speaks for persons who might not be able to speak up for themselves. Recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Said Muse Bare. Dylan Nevis. Paul Nguyen. Ramina Nissan. Recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Mik Nokrek, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Nadia Nuru Dean, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post Secondary Scholarship. Raquel Nyavera, Azizat Ogungbi, 
recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Tyler O'Heron, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Ogenero Owatsa, recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Milka Olomide, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Rochester Ortiz. Dylan Ovando. Krisha Palengleng, recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. Silvana Pavao, recipient of the Dr. Fernando Anthony Oliveri Memorial Award, donated by his daughters Anne and Nancy, in acknowledgement of Dr. Oliveri's passions, music, and medicine. Dr. Oliveri, who was born in 1925 and lived till 2011, graduated from Cathedral Boys High School in 1942. This award is awarded to a graduate who has achieved academic excellence exceeding 80%, who intends to pursue medicine in postgraduate studies, and who has demonstrated proficiency in performing a musical instrument. Recipient of the Taylor Steele Inc. Post-Secondary Bursary, donated by Michael Taylor, recipient of the French Immersion Certificate, Mark Pereira. Laura Persichini. Laura is the recipient of the PJ Daly Memorial Award awarded to the graduate who has contributed to the corporate life of the school. Laura is also the recipient of the Bombardieri Graduation Award, donated by Bombardieri Uniforms, and awarded to the graduate who has contributed to the Catholic spirit of the school. She is also the recipient of the French Immersion Certificate, and she is a recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Ray Pin Pin. Chris Poe. Benjamin Presta. Benjamin is a recipient of the Lions Club Alfred Oram Memorial Scholarship Award, awarded to the graduate who is pursuing a post-secondary education. Benjamin is also the recipient of the St. Albertus Magnus Science Award, donated in memory of Jim and Anna Lepore, and awarded to the graduate who has excelled in both the biological and physical sciences, and who embodies the character and tradition of Cathedral High School. This award is named after St. Albertus Magnus, the patron saint of science. Benjamin is also the recipient of the Governor General of Canada Medal. Cyan Pyle. Cyan is the recipient of the Cathedral Student Enterprises Award in honor of Tom Gallagher and Reverend Kyron Kennedy and awarded to an outstanding graduate who is proceeding to post-secondary institution. Cyan is also the recipient of the Grade 12 Arts Visual Subject Award. Cyan is the recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal and she is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Andy Kuta. Kimberly Ragosta. Gloria Raji. Matthew Raposo. Matthew is the recipient of the Specialist High Scale Major Seal. Matthew is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. River Reed. River is the recipient of the Taylor Steele Incorporated Post-Secondary Bursary donated by Michael Taylor. River is the recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. He is also the recipient of the Grade 12 Business Studies Subject Award. River is also the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Paul Remillard. Paul is a recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Alyssa Richards. Avery Richardson. Avery is the recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. 
Andre Robinson. Andre is the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Maeve Roche. Maeve is the recipient of the Taylor Steel Incorporated Post-Secondary Bursary donated by Michael Taylor. Maeve is also the recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Juana Rodriguez Vera. Juana is the recipient of the Monsignor Harvey Roach Bursary donated by Jim and Margaret Daly. Nazareth Rogabond. Nazareth is the recipient of the Specialist High Scale Major Seal. Christina Rosa. Christina is the recipient of the Taylor Steel Post Secondary Bursary donated by Michael Taylor. Christina is also the recipient of the Specialist High Scale Major Seal. Adele Roscoe. Adele is the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Adele is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post Secondary Scholarship. Vicki Rousseau. Vicki is the recipient of the Alumni 60 Award, awarded to the graduate who exhibits continued effort and improvement. Alexis Russell. Alexis is the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Braden Russell. Braden is the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Zeloth Sadi. Zeloth is the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post Secondary Scholarship. Paolo Samarita. Emily Sanchez. Emily is the recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Mary Kate Sandigen. Mary Kate is a recipient of the Cathedral Student Enterprises Award in honor of Tom Gallagher and Reverend Kyron Kennedy and awarded to an outstanding graduate who is proceeding to a post-secondary institution. Mary Kate is also the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Karan Sandal. Karan is a recipient of the Cathedral Tradition of Academic Award of Excellence donated by Ralph Ionico of McHugh Whitmore LLP, awarded to a student who excels in the classroom while demonstrating a strong work ethic and are of a humble and kind nature. Karan is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Pedro Santos. Pedro is the recipient of the Reverend Edward Anthony Lawler Memorial Award donated by Mr. B. Lawler and awarded to the graduate who has contributed to the Catholic spirit of the school, participated in the arts, athletics, and special education. Solange Sardinia. Solange is the recipient of the Optimist Club of East Hamilton Award, awarded to a graduating student who has shown an optimistic attitude in both their scholastic endeavors and their dealings with the people around them. Solange is also the recipient of the Grade 12 Technological Service Subject Award. Solange is also the recipient of the Specialist High Scale Major Seal. Guy Say. Guy is the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post Secondary Scholarship. Terrell Scott. Terrell is the recipient of the Specialist High Scale Major Seal. Selena Siram. Selena is the recipient of the Specialist High Scale Major Seal. Emily Shea. Emily is a recipient of the Cathedral Student Enterprises Award in honor of Tom Gallagher and Reverend Kyron Kennedy. Emily is also the recipient of the Joe McGovern Memorial Scholarship Award, awarded to the graduating student who will be attending post-secondary studies in the field of public safety. She is also the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Shaylin Shepherd. Shaylin is a recipient of the Josie Siapana Memorial Bursary, awarded to the graduate who has shown diligence and perseverance while overcoming challenges during their years at Cathedral High School. Shaylin is also a recipient of the Path to the Future Scholarship and awarded to the graduating student who has successfully overcome challenges, has achieved academic success, and has been an active contributor to the life of the school and local community. She is also the recipient of the Stewardship of Creation Award. 
Jean Shukaru. Jean is the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Jean is also the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Nathaniel Sika Campia. Brianca Silver Castillo. Brianca is a recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Brianca is also a recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Jude Sinclair. Jude is a recipient of the Cathedral Tradition Academic Award of Excellence, donated by Ralph Ionico of McHugh Whitmore LLP, awarded to a student who excels in the classroom while demonstrating a strong work ethic and are of a humble and kind nature. Jude is also the recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Raven Sky. Raven is a recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Selena Soberano. Selena is the recipient of the T.E. Brooks Memorial Award, donated by his family and friends and awarded to the graduate who has demonstrated improvement through perseverance and effort. Selena is also the recipient of the Specialist High Skills Major Seal. She is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Ebun Sonyai. Ebun is a recipient of the Joe Taranchik Memorial Award, donated by the classmates of the 1967 graduating class and awarded to the graduate who puts the team or group ahead of oneself, demonstrates perseverance and is respectful to others. Ebun is also a recipient of the McMaster University Annual Access Award. Ebun is also the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal, and she is a recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Sabrina Sousa. Sabrina is a recipient of the John Santorelli Memorial Bursary, awarded to the graduate who excels in mathematics and will be pursuing post-secondary education. Sabrina is also a recipient of the Philip O'Keefe Citizenship and Spirit Award, awarded to the graduating student who demonstrates Catholic values and who is a blood donor with a strong sense of civic responsibility and school spirit. Sabrina is also a recipient of the French Immersion Certificate, and she is a recipient of the ArcelorMittal DeFasco Scholarship. Brianna Steele. Brianna is a recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Jordan Stevenson. Jordan is a recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Erickson Suarez. Treshawn Sullivan. Treshawn is a recipient of the Grenning and Company Award, awarded to the graduate who, despite their many obstacles, persevered in his or her studies and completed high school. Treshawn is a recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship as well. Nidong Tagomo Donkmo. Nidong is a recipient of the Sister Mary Alexander Scholarship, awarded to a first-year university student who is a new Canadian and enrolled in the Faculty of Humanities and Memory of Sister Mary Alexander, who has inspired her students and challenged them to think independently. Nidong is also a recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Matthew Fan. Matthew is a recipient of the Pat Del Sordo Salt of the Earth Graduation Award, donated by colleagues and friends of for the former cathedral history teacher Pat Del Sordo and awarded to a cathedral graduate student in recognition of their goodness, sincerity, and honesty while attending Cathedral High School. These were the same qualities exhibited by Pat Del Sordo through his daily interactions with Cathedral students and staff. Matthew is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. John Thompson. John is the recipient of the Domenico Narduzzi Bursary, donated by his son Peter Narduzzi and awarded to the graduate who has persevered in his or her studies. John is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Seth Tirabasi. Kyle Toka. Vince Tran. 
Maggie Turong. Maggie is a recipient of the Cancer Assistance Program Award, awarded to the graduating student who has demonstrated significant leadership within the school while contributing to the community through volunteer activity while outside the school. Maggie is also a recipient of the Catholic Youth Organization Leadership Award, donated by the Hamilton Council of CYO to the graduate who is involved in the organization. Maggie is also a recipient of the Taylor Steele Incorporated Post-Secondary Bursary, donated by Michael Taylor. Maggie is also a recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Olive Uday. Olive is a recipient of the Jeff Walton Memorial Bursary, donated by family and friends of Jeff Walton and awarded to the graduate who personifies the tradition and character of Cathedral High School. Olive is also the recipient of the Patricia Barlow Simpson Memorial Award, donated by the classmates of the 1967 graduating class and awarded to the graduate who has shown tremendous courage in the face of adversity, someone who can laugh and enjoy life even when life becomes difficult. Olive is also the recipient of the Mike Morton Bursary. Dallin Van Selicom. Dallin is the recipient of the Father John Hulley Bursary donated by Dermot Nolan of Nolan Charlo LLP in memory of the late Father Hulley, who inspired excellence and built character during his many years of dedicated service as a priest and teacher at Cathedral Boys High School and awarded to the graduate who is pursuing post-secondary studies in the arts. Dallin is also a recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Dallin is also a recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Alexander Vastano. Alexander is a recipient of the Father Matisse Memorial Award donated by Len and Marguerite Ferrasso and awarded to the graduate who exhibits hard work and will be, be continuing in French leadership. Alexander is also the recipient of the Grade 12 Geography Subject Award. Alexander is also the recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Ryan Venadem. Jennifer Ventura. Tanya Vieira. Tanya is a recipient of the Grade 12 Core French Subject Award. Tanya is also the recipient of the Specialist High Scale Major Seal. Jenny Vong. Anthony Vu. Anthony is a recipient of the Charity of Hope Award, awarded to the graduate who provides service to children both in the school and in the community. Anthony is also a recipient of the Reverend Leo G. Burns Scholarship Award, donated by Reverend Leo Burns and awarded to the graduating student with the highest mark in religion. Anthony is also the recipient of the Structure Award of Excellence, donated by former graduate and teacher, Mr. Attila Felkai. This award is presented to a graduating student in business studies or who is pursuing a career in engineering. This student embodies the tenets of what makes structure the company it is today. Be bold. The student must be a leader in the school and pursue opportunities. Anthony is also a recipient of the Grade 12 Mathematics Subject Award. Anthony is also a recipient of the Grade 12 Physics Subject Award. Anthony is also a recipient of the Grade 12 Religious Studies Award. Anthony is also a recipient of the Schulich Leader Scholarship. Anthony is also the recipient of the Horatio Alger National Scholar Award. Matthew Vu. Matthew is a recipient of the Taylor Steele Incorporated Post-Secondary Bursary donated by Michael Taylor. Matthew is also the recipient of French Immersion Certificate. Febby Lynn Walling. Febby Lynn is the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Philip Wambala. Philip is a recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Austin Webster Kaiser. Hope White. 
Hope is the recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Hope is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Abby Gail Wilson. Abby is the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Kylie Wuchtowicz. Alan Young Telez. Alan is a recipient of the St. Charles ESL Secondary School Graduation Bursary Fund awarded to the graduating student who has English as a second language, has been in Canada for a maximum of six years, and has a long-term goal of post-secondary education. Alan is also the recipient of the Pathways to Education Post-Secondary Scholarship. Umu Yusef Adenyi. Umu is a recipient of the Specialist High Skill Major Seal. Jason Sivuku. Luke Zupa Holoville. Luke is a recipient of the Lions Club Alfred Oram Memorial Scholarship Award, awarded to the graduate who's pursuing a post-secondary education. Luke is also the recipient of the Grade 12 Philosophy Subject Award. Luke is also the recipient of the French Immersion Certificate. Please join me in congratulating the graduating class of 2020. Dear graduates, dear friends, Gales, Thank you for the invitation to offer a few words as you celebrate the completion of your high school education. It is a distinct and important milestone in your life. You have received the gift of a Catholic education at Cathedral Catholic Secondary School. Not only did you receive a superior academic education, but you have also received profound spiritual nourishment and insight and a template for moral and ethical decision-making. Your lives have been enriched by what you have learned and experienced over the past four years, and the community will be better because of such a well-rounded education. Farewell and welcome. This graduation is not only an ending when you say farewell, vale in Latin, hence the valedictory address. It is also a beginning when you open new doors to welcome new possibilities in your life. Ave in Latin, as in Ave Maria, hail, hello, Mary. Such new possibilities are opportunities for you to generously offer your many gifts and talents for the common good, the good of others, especially those in greater need. Pope Francis wrote an apostolic exhortation, a letter with the title, Rejoice and Be Glad. That is precisely what you should be doing these final days of school. Allow your joy to overflow into the lives of your family and friends, those you meet every day. The world needs to experience happy young people. You are the promise for a future filled with hope. Many people have worked hard to see you get to where you are today. Thank you is a word that you should use often. You don't have to thank everybody, but there are some who deserve to hear your appreciation. You know who they are. It doesn't cost anything to say thank you, a bit of air over the vocal cords, but for those who receive your thanks, it can be nothing less than pure gold. Never be too shy to say thank you. My dear graduates, you have the ability to make the world a good place, a better place, a happy place, and a safe place. You can and will do precisely that whenever you get involved and offer your gifts. Do good and be good. St. Luke writes in the Acts of the Apostles that Jesus went around doing good. You do the same. I wish you all God's good blessings for a long, happy, and productive life. 
Thank you, Bishop Crosby. Mr. Mark Daly, principal of Cathedral High School, will now share a few remarks with the graduates and guests. Your Excellency Bishop Crosby, members of the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board, Ms. Tony Kovac, our school superintendent, staff and students of Cathedral, parents, family, friends, and finally, and most especially, the Cathedral High School graduation class of 2020. I stand here today in the forum in front of a video camera and a microphone. This is obviously a strange and unconventional graduation ceremony and not what any of us anticipated or had hoped for. And it was certainly not easy for me to determine exactly what to say. I will begin by thanking in a special way our clerical staff, the great staff members and students of the Cathedral Graduation Committee and all who have worked to plan this virtual graduation. One thing that is undeniable is the love and commitment that our staff have for the students of Cathedral and particularly for this graduation class of 2020. The staff demonstrates this on a daily basis in countless ways, seen and most unseen. But throughout this process of COVID-19 and school closure, they have gone to exceptional lengths to adequately salute and celebrate this historic class of 2020 through the personal design and delivery of our graduation signs in the spring, and then their preparations for this virtual event. On behalf of myself personally, and on behalf of the class of 2020, I thank you, staff. Graduates, it is a great honor to address you as the principal of Cathedral High School. Throughout this celebration, we are endeavoring to celebrate your accomplishments and salute your achievements. I know that I speak on behalf of our entire staff and Catholic school community when I say with my heart and soul how proud we are of you. I would like to salute Josh Bellavia for being selected valedictorian by his class for his fine speech and inspiring words. He is a remarkable young man with an incredible academic record. He also served us admirably as student council president. God bless you, Josh, and what I'm sure promises to be a bright future for you. As the first Catholic high school in Hamilton, Cathedral High School was established over 100 years ago in 1912. The accomplishments and contributions of the legions of graduates of Cathedral High School throughout the years are enormous, and tonight the graduates of 2020 join this accomplished community. The class of 2020, as Josh mentioned, will go down in history for having experienced a world pandemic, a school closure, and unfortunately for being unable, by forces beyond all of our control, to celebrate the graduation in the beautiful Cathedral Basilica of Christ the King. This class of 2020 is also noteworthy for the large number of exceptionally high achieving students, very many of whom have earned significant post-secondary scholarships and bursaries. In the great history of our school, Cathedral students have bravely endured and overcome many great problems and hardships. To mention only two such examples, Cathedral students endured the Spanish flu of 1918, which caused a six-week school closure, and Cathedral students served, were wounded, and lost their lives in World War II. Throughout the more than 100-year history of this school, our students have overcome incredible personal, family, economic, and other challenges to succeed, to prosper, and graduate, and make po positive contributions to their families, our city, our country, and indeed our world. Cathedral students are known everywhere for their goodness, determination, resiliency, toughness, all inspired by the great tradition of this school, its great staff, and blessed by the Spirit of God. You are next in line, class of 2020. You have succeeded and you will succeed in the future. You have made your mark on our school's history. You will never be forgotten. Throughout your lives, you have been supported by your family and friends who have guided you throughout the years and helped you to choose a Catholic education. I know firsthand that many of you have overcome great personal obstacles to make, make it to this ceremony and graduation, and I offer you my special congratulations.
As I mentioned already, the great staff of this school have taught and mentored you over these past few years and fostered your development into the young people that you are today. They are truly an exemplary group of Catholic educators and I never cease to be inspired by their passion, enthusiasm and care that they show the students of our school. Graduates, I know that the example of their character and good works will be something you treasure throughout your lives and I challenge you to emulate them as you develop into contributing members of our society and world. I would be remiss if I did not offer a special thank you to our Vice Principals, Ms. Claudia Defendionico, who thankfully continues to delay her retirement out of love for our students, Mrs. Christina Grappo, and our fellow Cathedral alumnus, Mr. Ken John, for all their diligent work on behalf of our entire Catholic school community, and I also thank them personally for their support, their good counsel, and friendship. His Excellency Bishop Crosby honored us by participating in this service via video. He has always been a great supporter of our Catholic schools, and he has supported Cathedral High School specifically in every way possible. His address to us was much briefer than mine, but still very profound. Pay attention to it, graduates. Watch it again and again. Thank you for everything, Your Excellency. In addition, I would like to thank Father Yarrick for ministering to us at Cathedral High School in so many ways throughout the years. It is fitting to have you commission the class of 2020. Thank you, Father Jay. We ask both of you to continue to keep our Catholic school community in your prayers. Your Excellency, Father Yarrick, and all who are watching this, I can say to you and everyone gathered here with total conviction that Jesus Christ is totally present truly present in the halls of Cathedral High School. I have mentioned many times that Mr. Patel, my grade 11 physics teacher at our old boys school, would say to us, I don't know what it is, boys, but Christ walks these halls. I have seen Jesus in our halls, in the cheerful interaction of our students in the hallway, the devotion and care our staff show our students, in our many charitable drives and student outreach supports, in the way our students love and support their classmates with special needs, how they welcome new students and visitors to our community, and during our prayers and liturgies. Graduates, you have enjoyed the profound gift of a publicly funded Catholic education. It's a gift that must be treasured by everyone, and it must never be taken for granted. We have nourished your growth of your whole person as you have matured before us, as expressed in our Cathedral School motto, probitas e ciencia, goodness and knowledge. And this has happened in Canada, a country renowned for its harmony, diversity, opportunity, respect for human rights and dignity. A country that many of our ancestors came to from around the world and suffered great hardship to enter. It is now up to you, Gales, to put those gifts and blessings to work for the benefit of others. Like the legions of Gales before you, you will also use your lives to help others, to serve humanity, and assist those less fortunate, less fortunate than yourselves in our community and in our world. I recently shared on the announcements a beautiful message from Pope Francis that speaks to our obligation to do good, good works with our lives while understanding that life comes with difficulties and obstacles. It seems most appropriate for this historic class of 2020 and all that you have experienced. And I quote, rivers do not drink their own water Trees do not eat their own fruit. The sun does not shine on itself, and flowers do not spread their fragrances for themselves. Living for others is a rule of nature. We are all born to help each other. No matter how difficult life is, life is good when you are happy, but much better when others are happy because of you. Let us all remember then that every changing color of leaf is beautiful, and every changing situation of life is meaningful. Both need very clear vision. So do not grumble or complain. Let us instead remember that pain is a sign that we are alive, problems are a sign that we are strong, and prayer is a sign that we are not alone. If we can acknowledge these truths and condition our hearts and minds, our lives will be more meaningful, different, and worthwhile. So in conclusion, graduates, as you go forth on your life's journey, along whatever path lies before you. Remember to always rely on God's grace and love and take what you have learned at Cathedral and who you are 
and what you will become to make a difference in our world. We are counting on you, Gales. Thank you all for your attention, best wishes to everyone, and may God forever bless the remarkable and historic class of Cathedral High School graduation 2020. Thank you. At this time, we welcome Father Jarek Pachaki from St. Patrick's Parish to commission the 2020 graduating class. So congratulations, 2020 graduates. Pope Francis wrote in Christus Vivit, Becoming a saint means becoming more fully yourself, becoming what the Lord wished to dream and create, and not a photocopy. Your life ought to be a prophetic stimulus to others and leave a mark on this world, the unique mark that only you can leave. Those are the words of Pope Francis that he tells to you as he said to the young people around the world. Your life ought to be a prophetic stimulus to others and leave a mark on this world, the unique mark that only you can leave. Each one of you has a unique, and each one of you has a great gift, and you can go and change the world. So let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, for you begin all things and bring them to conclusion. At the dawn of creation, you created all things and placed this earth under our care. You sent your son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life. We praise you for our graduates. We ask that your gracious counsel may continue in each of their lives. May they be rich in good works, faithful and generous, and ready to share all that they are. Go forth as children of the light. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Garrick. Please join us in the singing of the National Anthem, performed by the Cathedral Choir. On behalf of the staff of Cathedral High School, we thank you for joining us tonight. Once again, congratulations to the graduates of 2020. Merci, thank you. <laughs>